Hello everyone, welcome to Code Enzyme. And uh, in this video, I was uh, and today I was solving the lead code daily problem. So and there I noticed something. Yeah. So there I saw this button called Auto and it was logged. And basically, it uh, provided some features like uh, lead code premium will give you auto complete and intuitive coding focusing and basically something like uh, syntax correction and all, which is not there with uh, the basic membership. And actually, this is this is all free with the VS Code, right? So what I decided was uh, I will use my competitive programming setup with my with the v, uh, lead code setup. So what I like to do is uh, like you want to use this uh, code here. So what we can do is uh, let's create the lead uh, file called lead code dot cpp. And if you are using Java or Python, you can follow the same thing. So what I like to do is first I have my basic template here. So I'm including the bits stdc file and something. You can discard these here. Like, okay, let's remove these. Hmm. And now we want to use this code here. So what I like to do is I like to write the driver code for this because for solving, for using this function, the only thing that I need is the vector array nums, right? So what I can do is, uh, Let's uh, just like when you are giving contest on code chef or code forces, you can take the uh, t make an array yourself. Let's call it nums and let's make it of length n. Then uh, just take the input. And now what we can do is we can create an object of this class. So solution s and uh, then uh, let's say answer is equals to because the return type is vector int. So I'm writing vector int. Uh, the, if the return type was it, then I will simply write int here. And uh, s dot find max num error nums then nums. And now for uh, for int uh, i in answer, what I can do is simply print i with a space bar. Now this is the uh, what should I say? Like now you have to type these test cases by hand. So I have an extension for that cph judge. Um, so first case there are four integers so I will say okay four integers then one two two four one two two four and uh, the expected output is two comma three and the second test case we have uh, one comma one so we have actually two numbers uh, and the output is one comma two and now what you can do is you can use your, your debugger template if you have like okay and uh, now let's say int n uh, equals to nums dot size and now you can even use the, your debugger template with this so let's say vector int answer and return answer and if you uh, if i run the code you can see my debug template is also working so using this you can uh, code your uh, the same thing uh, like just like in vs uh, code forces or the code chef contest you can use this uh, you can use this uh, driver code with your lead code uh, solution so i will just quickly write down the solution here so this is one possible solution and now you can even run this locally and once it passes your test cases you can just copy this whole thing and paste it uh, in your lead code so i can simply just paste it here and then submit it yeah so this video was not a uh, solution video for this problem. I just wanted to share my uh, what uh, share the driver code and how you can write it yourself. So if you learned something, kindly like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.